the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. Uh, Saturday nights. Right for you. May not be right for some. A man is born. He's a man of means. And a long come to. They got nothing but the genes. But they okay, got question for you, Jay. No disrespect the song, dude. Respect the moment. Let it go. I heard your anthem three times yesterday. Everybody finds a way to shine. It don't matter that you got not a lot. So what? They'll have theirs and you'll have yours and I'll have mine. I'm going to be together. And together we'll be fine. Because it takes different strokes to move the world. Yes, it does. It takes different strokes to move the world. You were saying, Bernsey? They got nothing but the genes. J-E-A-N-S or G-E-N-E-S. I don't think it could be the G one. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought I always thought that was interesting as a kid that they got nothing but the genes, and there was sort of this like different genetic profile right. between them and, and – And their sister was a whore. Conrad, and... a whore drug addict. We're not in the show. <laughs> well – and then as far they, as you know. They, right. And then they jump the shark when they add that little cracker-ass kid later, remember? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Stop saying that. Well, let me tell you something. That, uh, like many shows of that era, that did not turn out well for cast members. And then they had the, the Someone's no. Touching Me one. Right? Uh, that, that wasn't. Somebody's that, Touching Me. That was on your, uh, that you rented that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very Then they had the one where the song. Gooch you was re- beating up Arnold. Yep. And there was the one where Todd Bridges got in the fight with Jeff Joniak in the press room. <laughs> right. Well, he's still weird as it gets. Who, Jeff? Yeah. Yes. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did Jeff get thrown out of the fight? No, they almost got in a fight. It was great. When Todd Bridges was working for one of the radio stations here. Joniak will work, Todd Bridges. Oh, he's the, that's two red asses, too. No, nah, there's one that can handle himself, though. Which one? Jeff Joniak can kick the hell out of Todd Bridges. I know. He's he's a serious dude. dude. About Lloyd Bridges. <laughs> maybe now. Oh, Dale Jeff. and him. And maybe, maybe now he can handle Lloyd Bridges. And Dana Plato's dating Joe Paterno now. So, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I, it did turn out well for her. She took her giant breasts and six feet under. <laughs> that was another show. Should have been on that one. <laughs> God almighty. Was her name Aaron Gray? Not the yes. White Panther. The White no, Panther. Aaron, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It was Aaron Gray. Yeah, Aaron Gray. She was nice. It was before the sex change. Was she also in Buck Rogers? Yes, she was also in Buck Rogers. And Buck Rogers. Yeah. And yeah. beady, beady, beady. Yep. Tweaky. Tweaky the tweaker robot. Beady, beady, beady. Give me a break. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting Ew. a new thing on the video. Ew. Ready for anything. We're yeah. Do yeah. you know Chief Kaminsky was hitting that? So in the whole I already world, picture her naked. Go. What is you? You don't remember Nell? Nell Carter? Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Hard to forget Nell Carter. I mean, when when the theme song is better than the show, you got a problem. Hard to forget Nell Carter. You need a lap band is what you need. Yeah. So fat. Bypass. Yeah, that's a a large one there. Yeah, that's, that she, that's that's the that's old big mama's we house. Need a, we need a bigger box. She's a small so speak. wonder. Oh, we're so and bright and soft girls. She's a small wonder. Wait, Terry, don't buy cracking for the bigger box. A child. No, no, well, I, I would. Yeah, I kind of want rogue on this thing. She's a little rogue on it. I'm glad I can say I've never never saw this show. I saw the show was great. I no, the show. No, I think that that's one of those shows you think was might have been bad on purpose, and it was probably produced by aliens. There, there's something off about that show. Yeah, that, what that would you do when we were past your deal today? Out of tune. Would you stand up and walk out on You already are, but I won't walk out on you. Is Joe Cocker dead? Lend me all no. no. He's still performing. He's still performing. I'm still performing. I'm still performing. 
Yeah. This is the no. show with the uh, young Jennifer, right? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Young Finfer. Well, that's, that's his rap name. Young Finfer? Yep. That. I say I'm gonna get it. Joe Cocker's still alive. Okay. Yes, still performing with um, Bobby Pitt. No. Oh, by, by the way, Joe Cocker sucks too. Oh, he's awful. Hey, take it easy. He's awful. Take it easy. Yeah, you awful. say that, though. Watch it. That's awful. He's you know what? No, we can add him to the list of Bob Dylan, oh, no, it sucks. Roy Orbison, Bono, <laughs> that whole list. He, no, awesome. no, 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 no. You better. think Bob Dylan Roy sucks? Roy Orbison. That's terrible. You know, one of the worst no. singers ever. Bob Dylan's one of the greatest songwriters ever. Songwriter. But yeah, but not per- singer. But performer, he made my ass weary. I want to say this, and this is, I, 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 Nell Carter's dead, right? Yes. Okay. Died in 2003. I, she was one of, see, I always did this when I was a kid. I, I always looked up yeah. and, and looked in the birthdays and the papers and everything. I believe she and I shared a birthday. I think it was Mel Carter. No, I can check. She was uh, born September 13th, 1948. There you have she it. She had the sugar. <laughs> well, she she had the that. sugar. She had the mayonnaise. <laughs> 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 Heroes in a half shell. They're the world's most fearsome fighting team. We're really hip. They're heroes in a half shell and they're green. Hey, get a grip. When the evil shredder attacks, these turtle boys don't come in no slack. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're living the youth of Jason Goff. This guy, is, he's got a Voltron problem, too. Even Man, I, I wish I had Voltron. Had an actual Voltron? No, no, no. The, oh. the theme song. Oh. To which version, though? I have... Come on. We're not going to do this. Again, there's three versions of We're Voltron. not going to do this. We've... The real version. I have Thundercats in here, too. Let me ask you a question. Was any, any theme song ever better than the Gilligan's Island song? Ooh. Mm. That's Come a on. damn good song. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Terrible song. Terrible show. Hill Street I, Blues. Oh. That's a good one right there. Hey, you guys want to do a theme song draft? That's exactly right. <laughs> Light it no. up. No. All right, Terry, first round, who do you pick? <laughs> Gilligan's Island? Yeah, Gilligan's I go Island. with Doritos. Yeah, Gilligan's Island. I'll take Mike Florio. Dan? <laughs> Cheez-Its. <laughs> Feed it. Feed the siege of lawn. By the power of Grayskull. Hey, guys, mark the time right now. Mark the time. Yeah. Yep. Shepkowski did something for our show. 2.17. Yep. What did he do? He put some sound in, some audio, Bears audio for us. That's nice. Outstanding. Yeah, Damn. very good. He got he nicely did. done, Nip Jekowski. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to break free of the, uh, the Mac and Speed. Change. No, on board. can't. He's no, he can. Indentured servitude. No, nah, he's, he's, he's signed he's an to oath do. in blood. Yeah, they have him by the thong. <laughs> the, is it sandals or is it actual no, underwear? It's actual a, thong. It's, it's, a, it's a theme thong. <laughs> wow. He, oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Oh, well, Fred Willard's a few he's playing on the show. Oh, Fred's pulling up a chair. Yeah, Fred's, Fred's there. He's there. stuck to it. <laughs> yeah, Fred, don't pull up a chair, actually. Wow. Well, this is a window into a life here. You can't do that on television. One of the greatest shows of all time. Perfect. What is this, Murder, She Wrote? You can't do that on television? Is it British? It's Nickelodeon's finest right here. Never heard of it. So what would they do? It's like spank themselves? I don't want to. You know, if that's it's like a, Benny Hill for kids. Pretty that, much. Yeah, well, that's kind this of This is a glimpse is. into someone's life. I'm glad I didn't live that life. <laughs> I, just can't say, I don't want to be good. That's not a glimpse. That's disturbing. He man <laughs> Gayest show of all time. Oh, that's tough territory when you're talking about that. No, it is. Oh, it's also bad. Real bad. Yeah, Perfect Strangers was bad. 
I never understood the plot line. It's like, okay, this guy doesn't quite understand things. Nobody did. And how did those two dudes get two hot chicks? Oh, because they're beards. My quick! Nah. <laughs> Wait, so, Bernie, uh-huh. did you watch uh, Mork and Mindy? Not really, uh, no. Uh, uh, occasionally. No. What about Bosom Buddies? No. no. That was like that that, one season, that was it? <laughs> It was what? Well, that was one season, was it? The last one wasn't season? Buddies? That was more than one, wasn't it, or no? No, I, I didn't watch that. Did you watch Mr. Belvedere? No. No. I didn't watch Mr. Belvedere. What the hell? Strips on the china never met her before. Who cares? What is this? Well, Mr. Belvedere. How am I supposed to know Mr. Damn Belvedere? No, I'm glad. And Terry Bosom Buddies, two, two years, two seasons. Two years. Okay. Is that doing some bad Leon Redbone impersonation, or is it actually Leon Redbone doing a bad Leon Redbone impersonation? Man, you missed out on a lot. No, this I didn't. No, this, no, no, I don't. Explains, this explains a lot about you. Yeah, this is a really what disturbing you mean? That, pattern. That I enjoyed television as a child? Yeah, it's no, it's a disturbing pattern. <laughs> it's, no, we, we look for the big picture here. Oh, really? Yes. We don't listen. We, we we always find the bigger picture here. We don't look at the little stuff and say, "Ah, oh, that seems okay. That seems." Okay. But when you put all the pieces together, mm-hmm. you got a bad puzzle. Wait, he's reading you about bad buddies. Thing. It's definitely like Chef and uh, McCaffrey right now. Two single men must disguise themselves as women to live in one apartment they can afford. That's, that's right. They're just bad disguises. They disguise themselves as hideously ugly women, unfortunately, who dress like men. Not exactly a stretch. <laughs> Jason's actually dancing to this. He's all on a chair dancing and sky pointing to get out of the Alright, and that's not what matters right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is disturbing. What is oh, man. <laughs> I I'd recommend some outpatient treatment. Everything shock therapy. I am yeah. All there. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Transparency, brother. And the the shock treatment never happens. It's happy feelings though, Terry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, that's a good thing. Yeah, I guess he was happy as a child, but you, you we, add in that and then like a full Saturday of watching college football and then you sort of Yeah, then it was done. You, you have you have this collecting guy. Neil Lomax cards. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there was no singing to the Alf song. I'm sorry. It's Alf, and here's Alf, and he's Alf. You're supposed to make up your own lyrics. The Alf. No, you're not supposed yeah. to make up. You are. I was just going to do this in case I had lyrics to the break. Oh, you sing, uh, here comes Alf, and he's a guy with fur. An oddly big nose in the family that he uh-huh. stayed with, and he, he eats cats, and he's Alf. He's Alf. He's super alf. Alf, A-L-F. Alien life form. Yeah. 